Hey, okay, so this is a second vid for the first lesson of three. It looks like this should be like a self-study thing, but there's different versions of the pack. So I think the one that you get doesn't show it as self-study, it shows it as something that's taught in class. Makes no to us anyway, because we're doing it by this. Right, so it says, prove algebraically that the sum of squares of any two consecutive numbers leaves a remainder of one when divided by four. Right, so how do we do that then? So consecutive number has to be the same letter. So if we have, so if we assume consecutive numbers are n and n plus 1. Right, the sum of squares Plus n squared plus n squared plus 2n plus 1. So that's 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. Right, now then. Hmm. Let's have a think about this then. Uh, if I take out 2n as a factor, that becomes n plus 1 with a plus 1 on it. Does it say anything about n? So let's have a think about how we can do this. Hmm. This bit here is a product of two consecutive numbers. So that's the product of two consecutive numbers. If that's the case, one will be even and one will be odd. And then if they multiply together, that will be even. But more importantly, the n, n plus 1. So, so product two consecutive numbers. So 1 will be even, which has to be. Multiple two and one will be odd. But it's more this idea that the, that one of them will be even, so one of them will be a multiple of two. But then I multiply that by two. So I've got two times by a multiple of two. Because one of them will be even, so one of them is a multiple of two. So that will give me a multiple of four. Oof. So all of this, so the n times n plus one will give me a multiple of the odd times of even, so it'll be a multiple of two times by an odd number. The two on the start of it doubles that, so it makes it a multiple of four. So my two n, n plus one, that must be a multiple of four now. So it's got a divided by 4, oh, yep, so I'm okay with that. But if you look, if I divide by 4, I've got the 1 left over that I've not catered for, and that's my remainder. So therefore, 2n, n plus 1, plus 1, uh, is a multiple of 4, with a remainder. Um, there's some to practice, we'll practice them in the class. I'm going to do another video for the next bit, which is to do with other methods of proof. Okay.